Hepatitis D virus infection is the most severe form of chronic viral hepatitis. But unfortunately, we have the weakest treatment options. The only thing that um, is recommended by guidelines is the usage of pegylated interferon alpha. We and others have shown that you can uh, induce a suppression of HDV RNA replication in about one quarter, one third of patients. But for the remaining patients, there is no treatment option yet available. We have explored different options. Extending therapy with interferon to two years didn't work. Combination with tenofovir, for example, didn't work. There is some evidence from the HIV, HBV, HDV co-infected field that very long-term treatment with polymerase inhibitors and tecavir or tenofovir may have secondary beneficial effects also on hepatitis delta, but again, very small numbers and um, let's say this is not the breakthrough. In 2015, we will see exciting new data. There are new treatment concepts. First proof of concept trials have just been uh, completed uh, with different targets on the life cycle. One possibility is to block hepatitis B and delta virus entry to hepatocytes. Uh, and indeed, you can, uh, using this approach, it is likely that we will see a decline in HDV RNA. Another approach is the usage of so-called prenylation inhibitors. It's a specific step in the late life cycle of the HDV virion. If you block this, then you can indeed also reduce HDV replication. Future will need to show whether either of these approaches alone is sufficient, whether we need to combine them with interferon, um, or whether even other strategies like immunotherapies will be needed to address uh, this really most severe cohort of patients with hepatitis. And uh, after cure of hepatitis C, after complete control of hepatitis B, hepatitis delta is the remaining challenge in hepatology.